Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Weiss. I sit here enjoying the view this morning. We got a lot of work to do, so, you know, I figured I'd procrastinate a little bit. Do it the way we do it best. I hope you guys can hear me. I am in a strange state, in a strange house, in a strange room, with way more fancy equipment than I should be authorized to use. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to try to try our best. We're going to try to make it work, so... Uh, we are in Minnesota trying to help farmer men harvest some sugar beets in the real world. And the weather just simply won't cooperate. So let's climb on the roof here and take a look around while we talk about it. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys can hear me. I did a couple of test recordings and it sounded like I was whispering. Uh, in my own head, I sound like I'm screaming. So I can't really go any louder. Uh, I don't know how to go louder. <laughs> that's just kind of, that's the way I talk. No, oh, sorry. Um... Yeah, anyways, like I say, in the real world, we are in Minnesota. We are, for some reason, we're going to drive a sugar beet truck. Uh, Farmer Ben has ridden with me, and he still seems, seems to think this is a good idea. So, uh, I would just like to go on the record and say that uh, I'm not going to be responsible for what happens here. Uh, that poor transmission um, doesn't stand a chance, anyways. So, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to do today. Let's get some stuff out of the way before the real world takes over and we're not able to play anymore. Uh, we got these bales here. I was going to wrap them. I had the sausage wrapper over here. Uh, I was going to wrap them here, and I don't remember why I was going to do that. It seems like a poor idea. Uh, we need them to make TMR, and we need TMR in the worst way. We are in the red, so the quicker the better. But what I'm going to do is we're, we got the sausage wrapper hooked back up here. We're going to take it to the main yard now uh, where the cows and the chickens are. We're going to put these bales with the other bales over there, bring the sausage wrapper over and make TMR on the spot there. It'll also get these bales off the grass so we can mow this and, and use this grass right here, right? So, uh, let's see, what else are we gonna do? We need to do something with the wood chipper. I believe we have purchased a new shed. So I believe we'll have room in there to put it. Uh, let's see, for right now, I also need to get in this bad boy. Let's fire it up, we'll let it warm up for a second there. Been a while since we run it. Uh, but we got things to sell. We have neglected everybody around here. We are just about full of eggs. We are really, really close to being full of wool, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to take this trailer, pick it up in this bad boy, and we're going to take it to the sheep bin over here, put some wool pouts on it so we can go sell them. Uh, let's see here. We are going to go... Oh, there we go. We got it? Oh, did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Come out there. All right. <laughs> My goodness. Start to road that. We need to do some work on our driveway here, don't we? I didn't realize there was that bumpy through there. All right. Anyways, take our little trailer here. This was the one we bought for egg pallets. It did not work ideally. Let's say. Um, just we must have been too far away from the hitbox for the egg pallets themselves, and we're running over the bridge there. Don't worry about that. Uh, hopefully it'll work for wool pallets though. So we're going to take it over here, we're going to drop it off. Uh, check out the new little shed we got here, and a new little toy inside of it. We also have to go check on a field. I have been talking to uh, Tyler here at the store, and he knows a guy that is looking to sell one of his grass fields, and we need more grass. So we're going to see if we can strike up a deal for that field today. Also, with all the money that we picked up the logs and sold, we got the, the money that we got for selling them. We bought this field right here. We've been saying we're going to do it, so, hey, we did it. We got it. So we need to harvest this barley today. That's good, because we don't have a whole lot of wheat left in the silo for the chickens, and, you know, we need it all, right? We need as much as we can go. So, uh, let's see here. We're going to do this. We're gonna, oh, watch out. Sorry, excuse me. All right, let's take this guy over here. We'll do one thing at a time. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Getting a little excited. Too much Dr. Pepper today. Alright, we'll pull this guy right here. Seems like a good place. Uh oh, that's not good. And yeah, here's our new workshop that we had put in. Uh, Grumpy and the boys hooked us up before he left town. Had a few extra materials left over from all the, the sheds and silos that were put in on the, the new main yard over there. We're going to call this the old yard. This used to be the main yard, but there's not a lot here now other than the sheep, so... Uh, all the activities going on at the new main yard. Way over there in the distance. We'll call that the main yard now. And 
Check this out. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's so little. We have a, uh, the old Massey skid steer that we started the farm with. It is over at the main yard, over with the cows. We use it to clean the pens and keep everything in shape over there, move some egg pallets around and such. So instead of driving it back at its excruciatingly slow speed, I figured we'd go ahead and invest in one of these. $25,000 was a pretty good deal. It was refurbed very nicely. Uh, so we're going to use that to move wool pellets with, and we'll go ahead and buy a bucket for it and clean the, the sheep with it. So we'll leave that over here. And then, of course, this is our workshop, so pretty good. All we had for a workshop before was uh, just our little jack stand sitting outside here. And When it's raining or cold, that's, that's nowhere you want to be doing some maintenance on some equipment. So, so yeah, all right then. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to drop the trailer off. We're going to jump in the Mahindra and see if we can locate this grass field that is for sale. I think it was $65,000. I'm not real sure. Let's see. Unhook that. All right. Well, we'll see if it's big enough. Uh, we're going to, like I say, we need all the grass we can get. But at the same time, I think we have enough small fields right now. Uh, we have a pretty good-sized mowing setup. And, yeah, no need to... It. Let's see. He said it was around our fields over here somewhere. Mm. Don't remember which one he said. I may have to go pull my map up on my phone and look at it and see which one. Oh, it's definitely not this way, is it? All right, let's turn around here. Stay out of my wheat field there. Don't want to tear that up. Yeah, we definitely missed that turn. Uh, it's not over there either. We already own a fair amount of those. Let's speed to the right down here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we did sell a, uh, we sold one of our greenhouses too. I mean, a guy that was looking to get in the cucumber business, we hooked him up. We needed the space anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area right here yet. But it's nice to have it back. Uh, that, that one greenhouse that was out here just kind of didn't fit after we got rid of the chicken pen that used to be here. It was just kind of stuck out there by itself and looked kind of awkward. So we took that money, we sold that, took that money, and bought the workshop with it. So that worked out pretty good. Let's see, we got two grass fields here. Oh, this is the, okay, this is the part of the big one. So it's not this one, it must be this one. Wow. That's a, that's pretty wide. That's a lot wider than our little uh, field 68 that's right over there. That's a narrow grass field. I'm just going to take a walk to the end here, see if we can run down, get a better feeling for it. Nice little rise here, a little elevation change. That's pretty neat. I'll tell you what, it's a good sized field here. $65,000, I think he said it was. I think we're going to take it. What do you think? We got $85,000 in our pocket. Just shy of it. Yeah, let's see what happens here. We'll go, we'll go talk to go talk to the man. See if we can get some paperwork signed. So maybe we'll be harvesting that or cutting it soon here anyways. All right, let's see. We'll go back, grab the harvester. We're going to jump in there, harvest this barley field real quick. It doesn't look great. It looks like they let it go to weed a little bit. Ooh, speaking of weeds, we also have weeds to spray today. Let's go take a look at that real quick. Our corn silage field here had quite an outbreak, so we're going to have to jump on this thing, get it back in good health. We need this thing to be top-notch so we can make as much silage as possible. And yeah, there's quite a bit of weeds out in the field there, so we got to hook the sprayer up this afternoon, and we'll go take care of those. But first things first, I'm going to get this uh, barley harvested here. And, yeah, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll take it from there. We'll figure it out after that. So let me go do that. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll lay the straw swaths down. And we'll go ahead and bale these straw swaths, too. We have enough loose straw in storage, I hope. Question mark? <laughs> Fingers crossed. But we need a few more straw bales for TMR purposes, so... I think that's going to be the best way to go right now. Like I say, we are in desperate need of a bunch of, bunch of TMR. 
the, uh, in the red of the cows. I don't think I have any more in storage. If I do have any more in storage, it's not a whole lot. So definitely not enough to fill the cows up again. I believe I would have put it all in there at the first. So yeah, we'll figure it out, right? Let's see here. Make sure we're still. Oh, oh, what is happening? Oh, I have 2,000 liters of oats in the hopper. Well, that's unfortunate. We're getting barley and crust it there. That's kind of disappointing. We were going to make something happen. Anyways, let me go take care of this. i got to see if I can figure out a way to get this pipe in here. I think I've done this before. And crash into the door. So I think if we go right here. And back up while the pipe is coming out. Cut it back over here. There it goes. All right. So let me get this emptied out. I'm gonna go jump on that barley field, knock it out real quick, and then we will decide what we're gonna do with the straw. Whether we pick it up with the loading wagon or bale it. I'm not sure yet. But I'll be right back. All right. Well, we're looking at our new grass field. How about that? A little bit more work to add to the list. That's all right. We are, uh, we're about to pick up business when it comes to a silage. We're going to have silage bales. We're going to have sausage wrap silage bales. We're going to have a bunker full. I really want this field right here, but this is, uh, well, I mean, obviously it's the largest thing on the map. $240,000, I think it is. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll be mowing that, but that's all right. So, yeah, we did. We went ahead and got the paper signed on that. We are good to go there. Not only that, but because he made us such a good deal, um, we bought this land, too. Uh, the guy says he's getting out of the farming business altogether and wanted to know if we wanted to buy this little thing. I really didn't want it. I had no uh, desire for this little piece of land here. Not that I didn't want it. I just didn't want to pay for it, but... Uh, I said that that was 65, I was wrong, it was just 60, and, uh, yeah, I kind of felt like five extra thousand dollars there, you know, I was prepared to spend 65, so, uh, then all I needed to throw in on top of this was another 10, so, uh, if I continue along that line of reasoning there, we did pretty good, not bad at all, I think, got two little fields here, what we'll do is we'll plow this up, this used to have sunflowers in it, and I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll just connect it all. We'll make all this grass right here. Perfect, right? Perfect. Pretty good sized grass field to go with our other really good sized grass field. This one, I'm thinking, uh, it's a really good size, but I'm thinking I'm only going to mow it once. And then perhaps we're going to plow this and turn this into a wheat field as well. Um, we can always use the straw and... Uh, the chickens, 500 chickens use so much wheat that this one little field down here that we constantly rotate with wheat, I uh, just can't keep up. Uh, like I say, I pretty much use what I harvest, and we're not putting anything in storage, so maybe we can fix that. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to turn this into a big old grass field right here, the whole thing, plow it all up, and then we'll turn this into another wheat field. Perhaps sometime in the future we can acquire this field in between them, and we can make a massive wheat field here, so that's the plan. Well, we'll see, to see if our man Tyler at the store has any more connections. See if he knows the guy that owns this one. And, uh, yeah, start saving our pennies up. So, there you go. All right, let's see. Uh, let me go ahead while we're running our mouth here. Pick the header up there so we don't drag it. Let's go ahead and put this up. It is empty. I uh, do need to wash it, so I suppose I'll leave it out by the pressure washer down here. I don't want to put it away in its current state. It's going to be a little while before we have to use it again, so... Hey, let's do that, right? Alright, here. Pull this down here out of the way. Trees in the way. Get out of there. Uh, let's go ahead and run back, get all our equipment out of the way. I was going to leave it there. We don't want it to rain or anything while the barley's in the back of the trailer, so... 
Uh, what I'm going to do with this is, instead of putting this in storage, it's only 8,000 liters we got from this field. We'll just go ahead and give this straight to the chickens. I suppose that will be okay. Uh, fire up there. Took a little while to get it in gear there. Looks like somebody I know driving a beat truck. Whoa. Hey. Alright, so. Yeah, that beat truck is... I'm terrified. i got to be honest with you. I really feel like I'm going to screw something up. Um, let's see here. I need to finish this road. <laughs> it just kind of ends in the field right here, and I always have to drive through my grass. There's no reason I can't throw a little dirt down there, making a little dirt path. I don't need to pave it or anything. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant, does it? Let's see. I need to get some silage in here. That thing looks terrible when it's empty. It looks so sad. Oh, get a little airborne there. You're getting excited coming up the hill. Alright, let's see if this big trailer can hit that little bitty hitbox. I may have to put this in the silo and go get our smaller trailer with the uh, green dump on the back. The green door. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Close enough. Ooh. Oh, it pushes its when it hits the pole there, it pushes itself off the trigger. <laughs> That's funny. I just gotta keep bumping up on the trigger here a little bit. Alright, this is kind of difficult here. I don't think anyone. I mean, that didn't fill them up, did it? No, 9,400, they're not quite full, but I don't think they're gonna take the rest of the trailer either. What a tiny little hitbox. Learn to go, and it pushes it off. Oh. Back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, that time might have filled it up. There we go. All right, so she's full. We got a thousand liters left. Put that in here. Just save it away for a rainy day. All right, there we go. Alright, now let's get to work. Let's go make some money today. How about that? We have so many little things we need to sell and take to other places. I've uh, got our harvesting done and we have to spray weeds this afternoon. But that's about all we have to do with the big stuff. So, I uh, brought the Deutz over last night, hooked it up to the milk wagon. and to get in it, fire it up, let it warm up while we're sitting here. And while that is warming up, we have two whole trailer loads that we can sell. So. We'll go ahead and let the milk start pumping while the tractor's warming up. Uh, let me check the price real quick. Um, thirteen hundred and dropping. Well, thirteen hundred is a pretty decent number, even though it's on its way down. I think we're gonna we'll get them in there really quick. The price of eggs is twenty six hundred and dropping. Uh, wool is just fine at twelve hundred. So after this, we will take care of the eggs, just to get them out before the uh, bottom drops out of the price there. Where we can have our empty egg pallets back for the next round. And take what money we can get. Not bad. Alright. Let's go make some money here. We don't need it, right? Just buy an herbicide. I think we're going to have to buy it a day. We're going to spend quite a bit of money. So. Yeah. Oh, and manure. Yeah. I think we're out of manure everywhere as far as vineyards and greenhouses. Jump out here while we're rolling. Yes, we are very much out of maneuver. So we're not making as much money as we could be, and that is a problem. Let's see. Yes. Alright, so we have a big old pile of maneuver there at the captain, which is nice. We're going to move all of that, I'm sure. And sometimes we move that. We got all these errands cross off the list here, or errands or chores, I suppose, to be more accurate. We see what kind of money we make for this, and we can go ahead and double that and we'll figure out what we're coming up with for the mill. Hmm. It's definitely missing something. Somehow it's supposed to be. We're asking them ready to mow. The wheat's not ready to harvest. The corn is not ready for silage. I don't know what I can do this. I just got that feeling. That's alright. 
We'll figure it out sooner or later. Let's see. Do a little pipe up. A little pump. It's looking up pretty decent. Everybody says ten thousand eight hundred seventy seven dollars. All right, so we're going to be twenty one thousand dollars here. Profit off of our milk. Nobody's mad at that, right? Nobody's mad at that. So. Yeah. All right, life is good. Good. Let me take this back. I'm gonna go. There's no need to watch me take another trip. I'm selling this milk and for no other reason than I don't have anything to talk about. So <laughs> I gotta uh, figure out what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go uh, sell some stuff. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. Thirty-six thousand dollars because this is our second egg pallet. We only had two egg pallets for uh, even though we only two, we still wanted to sell them because the price was going down. So, uh, we're getting six thousand dollars a piece for them. So there's twelve thousand dollars worth of eggs. I did go ahead and just drive the forklift down here. Uh, I think it's like top speed at twenty-five, and that's close enough, you know. But it actually didn't impede traffic too bad. A little faster than the skid steer. Uh, at least it felt that way. Pretty sure it is. And yeah, we didn't have to mess with a trailer or anything. The problem we were having with these egg crates is that we have to set them on the ground to sell them. So pulling them in on a trailer doesn't really help us because we still have to unload them at that point. So uh, it is almost as fast, or it feels like as fast to me to just make two trips on the forklift here, drop off each pallet, and go from there. So, all right, now it's on to the wool. Let's go ahead and, you know, can't decide if I want to sell the wool yet or wait until we get a big, huge pallet because really, I think wool is $1,200. If we've learned anything so far in FS19, it's about $1,000 a pallet is what you can count on. So, and do I really need to take three pallets over there for $3,000 right now? I don't know that I can do anything with $42,000 that I couldn't do with forty five. dollars you know what I mean? So, Perhaps we'll just get these out of the way so that they can continue to spawn here. Let me take a little bit See, we're almost out of room. That fourth one is almost full, and it's going to give us the message here in a second. So we'll come back over. Maybe we'll put them on the trailer and just leave them there. Hey, that's what we can do. We'll put them on the trailer and put them in our new little workshop here. Pull them under there so we go out of the way. That's a good idea. Here. Turning through the grass. Speaking of forklifts on the grass, <laughs> I bet Farmer Men didn't tell you about that. Uh, I had, was driving the forklift at his shop the other day. Uh, he asked me to pull a trailer out of the garage so we could put a truck in there, uh, a little like five by ten utility trailer. So I hooked the uh, trailer up to the forklift there, put it on the fork, and was pushing it outside and was going to push it around the building. And where I'm from in Virginia, it has not rained pretty much all year. It's pretty dry down there. So I, I gave no consideration to how soft the ground was when I got off the travels. And I pretty much sunk the forklift a little bit. It wasn't too bad. It didn't take too long to get it out. But I knew as soon as as soon as I dropped off the gravels, I knew I was done. That thing was stuck and stuck fast. So I just kind of sit there and look pitiful until the farmer men come and pull me out. He didn't, didn't give me too much stuff for it, so must not have been too bad. But that's all right. Back tires were stuck on something like that. Has your marker right there? Anyways, get this back over there. So, uh, let's see, we got this, oh, need to, let's clean the animals real quick, just so we can keep them guys up at top production, doesn't take very long, uh, the chickens are automatically cleaned, 
And we just gotta run this loading wagon through the uh, cow pen and dump it out. And then we'll run over to the sheep and do the same thing. Let's see, we're all of it. Yeah, we're all of it. Back up here. There we go. Alright. Cows are clean. Doesn't get much easier than that, except for when we get stuck coming out of the dump. <laughs> Perhaps we'll go with this way. Alright. Yeah, I think, I think we're in there. We're gonna do it, right? We're gonna do something anyways. Why does this feel so slow right now? This tractor is slower than the forklift, is that true? Oh, I still have the load more I can. <laughs> I knew something was wrong there. Right? Wait, wait, wait. Right, let's turn the loading wagon off while we're going down the street. I don't think that's going to do anything but scoop up some gravels, and we probably don't need a wagon full of those. Alright. Drop it back down. Scoop up the grass. And this just a little bit, so I have to back up. And crash some things. That piece. There we go. Alright, drop the grass off. Turn the loading wagon up for a change. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we'll see next time. I think we'll be ready to harvest next time. The grass is almost fully grown, so we definitely need to start cutting and making silage. Sorry about your tie there, I just ran it over. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. I have, yeah, we still got a spray. Yeah. All right, we crossed some things. Well, it was not a lot, but we did, we did do some things. Let's see, get this thing back over here and get it parked. And, uh, yeah. We'll call it a day here. I am, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. I'll just leave that right there, it's close enough. Pull this out of the way. Yeah, look, we only have... It's actually quite a bit of silage, or straw. 10, 11, 14, 15 of them. We got 28 hay bales, I believe it was. Uh-oh, there's a straw bale right there. So maybe 20 second bales. Either way. We have more hay than we have anything else, and uh, still have a lot of things to do. So, yeah, run through a cornfield here just like you did when you were kids. Remember how bad of an idea that was? It was just, just something you never forget right there. That's an unforgettable feeling. Uh, yeah, I think we're about done here for the day. Well, for this episode anyways. We've got a long way to go in the day. It's still early morning. It's, uh, I forgot we got to drive through here. We go right through there. Jump in this cute little thing right here, see if we can upgrade it. The wheelbase being smaller than the massive turns a little bit different. A little, a little sharper, more like the in-game skid steer, but I'm sorry. It's still pretty cool. I really like it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put it to work. So, alright, let me take these. I'm gonna put them on the wagon here like I said we were gonna do. I'm going to save them. Uh, for sure, I'm not gonna sell just three. I'm not that desperate for money yet. Everything in the ground. I think it'll fit too. Yeah. Yeah. Easy money. Alright. So, I'm going to handle this and uh, maybe we'll be back in a day or two depending on what Mother Nature says we can do outside. Uh, as far as harvesting some sugar beets, it is calling for some rain tonight, so uh, not exactly ideal. Strap in there just so I can't push this one off the back. I'm extremely confident in this thing coming off of here. It seems to be stuck on the forks. It didn't, the forks didn't go all the way through, so. Seems like, yep, we're gonna have an issue there. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jackie, 
and I want you to have a good day.